Hey YouTube, this is Trelock and welcome to the 2 minute uh, Python tutorial series. I have a Python shell open and I'm going to try to teach you Python in 2 minute intervals. So what is Python? In fact, it's an interpreted language which means we type in instructions and uh, the program interprets them, uh, spits out an answer, basically evaluates them and then gives us an answer. For example, let's I, I put in 5, it gives me like 5. Uh, it evaluated my expression and determined the value is 5. If I put in 10, uh, it will evaluate to 10 because it, it is already an expression. So if I t put 10 plus 10 um, plus 5, then I, it actually evaluates, it does the addition and gives me the answer. 10 times 5 uh, gives me 50, 10 over 5 gives me 2, but 9 over 5 gives me 1, surprisingly. Why does 9 over 5 give me 1? In fact, it's seeing how many whole times 9 goes into 5, which is 1, and with a remainder of 4. So to get the actual fractional part, we do 9 times 9.0 over 5, which gives us 1.8, which is the correct answer. Cool, now we know uh, this, so we, the two stars are power. 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000. 7 to the power of 4 is uh, 2,401. Cool, now we can do mathematical operations. Now, uh, let's try to understand what a variable is. A variable is just a block. It's like in mathematics, think about it. It's a block where you can store a number or some other type of data. So in fact, uh, a uh, is my variable now. I have a name and then I have the equal sign, which means I'm putting something into that block and I have a five. So if I print a, a is five. It's showing me what's stored in that block, in that block of memory where um, I have a five right now. I can also uh, put a some text there. So Bob, I use these single quotes to de de uh, denote that this is gonna be text. Now I print a and a is Bob. Uh, so I also can define um, variables, so let's say a is 5, I can define other variables using the first variable, so b equals a plus 1, it will actually evaluate it, get 5 and add it to uh, a, and now I have a b equals to 6. So now we, we know variables and we know how to define variables in terms of other variables. Thank you, stick with me for the next lesson and we're going to come back to this and learn a lot more about Python. Thank you very much, take care.